Hey, I have no idea how the lighting is, but I, again, didn't get a chance to film until now, which is Sunday. Oh my god, yeah. Like this week's been really crazy. I got in really, I got in late Thursday, but then I had something to do. I actually made some black soap, um, shampoo. Finally, it took me a while, but I finally made it. I'm looking for the, the theme or the topic. Um, so I went to bed kind of late Thursday, too late to, to film. And then on Friday, I was doing a bunch of stuff, so I got in after, like, uh, let's see, I got in, like, after midnight. Yeah, I didn't even get to, like, I ate some of, a piece of my food, and then I just went to bed. Um, then, <coughs> um, what else did I do? Then Saturday, I went up to Michigan. And then when I came back, the car was hot, so like I overheated and I just slept and then I was like really sluggish the rest of the day. So today, 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 I'm getting filming done. I'm gonna go wash my hair while this, cause it takes forever to load. It takes like an hour or something to load. It's still warm. Um, my apartment keeps heat like nobody's business. So it is, it is very, very, very warm. So um, I don't know if you can, I'm at this weird downward angle. Um, tomorrow I have a bunch of meetings, and I've got something I'm finishing up today, but we have a bunch of meetings tomorrow. Mm, yep. I had a bunch of meetings last week, too. They were more spread out, but I think tomorrow I have a lot of phone calls and meetings I have to take care of. So, that'll get taken care of tomorrow. Today's Sunday, tomorrow's Monday. Got to cook and all that stuff. This week wasn't bad, I just had a lot of work to get done. It's the last semester of coursework, so... You know, after a while, it's going to all be on me. Um, but I was trying to figure out, should I go through different topics or should I pick one? I have picked the one I wanted. Hey, baby. You want to come to mommy? I don't know if he wants to come up. If he comes up, I'll show you. I'm sorry, I have not been putting up Feline Friday videos for the past, I think, two weeks. Fridays have been crazy as I've, you know, it's the only time I have, like, large plot of time I have to do work. He actually got groomed, though, on, on Friday. He doesn't look much different, but boy, he smells like the Petco, which clearly means that's the shampoo the Petco uses. It's the smell. It's really nice. He smells really good. Anyway, um, to the uh, to the topic at hand. So as you all know, I'm not religious, um, but I do think religion is really fascinating. It's a really fascinating thing to think about and talk about and look at. And, and although I'm not religious, the school that I've gone to there have been religious places there are people who are religious who are religious everywhere um but so I have it here just because you're religious doesn't mean other religious people will like you so you can be of the same religion as a bunch of different people you can be Muslim or you can be a Baptist or Mormon or Roman Catholic uh, Lutheran you know but if you're a shit person, no matter who you are as a person of faith, people just, other people in your faith aren't going to like you. So I've had friends, had being the operative word, that were religious in their own ways, but they weren't, what are you sniffing, mommy? He's sniffing my, he's sniffing the chapstick. I haven't put it on in a while, so he's trying to figure out what it is. Um, who haven't, who are just, you know, who are really, you know, they're religious, they're in tune with their faith, but people don't like them because it's not just about faith right it's not just this thing that this kind of tangible thing that we share your personality so like I had a friend I talked about toxic friendships and he was um pagan wicked whatever and we would go to these different events in New York and they were nice but he never I mean I, I spoke to quite a few people right and I was able to build connections with them but he was ever never able to do that and part of it was because of his personality. Like he was very pushy and he was very much like, I know this and I read this book. And if I read one book, I've read all these books. And it's like, you know, or these people are doing it wrong. It's like, oh my God, don't ever tell, don't do that to someone. Don't tell them they're practicing their faith wrong because that really will push people away from you in a big way. But that's what he did. That's what he did. He was like, um, you know, you know, this is wrong, this is not the way this is supposed to go, this is like that, da, 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 da. and I was just like, oh, God, good Lord. 
Um, but there are people who have other faiths who do that. Like, oh, this is supposed to be this way, but this is that way. And this is what this faith is. Or people who are religious, right? <laughs> Blow my mind. This reminds me of another friend of mine. Is that a friend of mine anymore? One of these is one of the reasons. Not of a particular faith, right? They are religious. Just not that faith. But telling a person of that faith what their faith is. How do you explain someone else's faith to them? Like, it was so annoying. And I was just like, you can't do that and, and she'd be like but they're wrong but they're not wrong though and you're wrong for going to, like to telling someone that their faith is this is what their faith is when that's not what it is and I think people don't understand religion is not just uh, a universal thing you religion also incorporates 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 encompasses whatever culture as well so I had two friends and we were eating a pizza and um one of them doesn't eat mushrooms, right? Because he's like, well, because well, one of them doesn't eat shellfish, right? And they they both Muslim. He's like, well, shellfish, it's it's like just eating like eating pig because pigs eat anything. Shellfish and and bottom feeders they eat anything, and you know you don't know what to put in your body. All well, this other stuff, right? And I was like, oh, okay, that's valid, that's valid. I mean, not other, you know, the Muslims eat shellfish, but he didn't, and he had his particular reasons and how you know whatever. And then another friend, they both Muslim by the way. Different possibly different like branches of, of Muslim faith because it's not all the same he ate shellfish right but he didn't eat mushrooms and he didn't eat mushrooms for the reason that my friend didn't eat shellfish and so he was like because they're kind of like they're not even really plants they're funguses and they, they'll decompose anything including pig and it's like you're interesting and I was like well shit I mean they both made really great arguments of course I didn't have a problem with that I you know I was like, these are really great rationales. They often had arguments with one another about things like that because although they were of the same faith, they just had these very ideological differences um, that it, it was just, to me, it was like a do, agree to disagree, right? But to them, it was more like, no, you have to be, you have to agree with what I'm saying. And it was like, so they would always have these ideological differences. It was so fucking funny all the time. Um... Because they always did it in public. It was never in private. Like, when it was just them, or, like, when it would just be, like, me and them in, like, a, a room, or when it was other people, then it was, like, it's okay. it's go time. But, um, but yeah, just because you're, you're both, you or another person are in the same religion doesn't mean they have to like you. You know what I mean? You could be a bad, you could be a bad person. If you're a bad person, it doesn't matter what faith you are. You know, even if you're not a person of faith, it doesn't matter what faith you are. Even if you are, even though it's not a religion, of course, even if you're atheist or, like, agnostic or something like that, you, you know what I mean? Like, you could still be a piece of shit. Like, there's, there are atheists out there who are just, like, really mean and really nasty. And it has nothing to do with their faith or lack thereof. Rather, it's their personality. So they're just like, like, I, I off the top of my head, there's someone I'm thinking of in my head right now. I'm just like, oh, God, you're such a dick. <laughs> but that's how it is, you know? It doesn't matter religion or not religion, not how you practice, how you don't practice, it really boils down to your personality. So if your personality is crap, then people are not going to want to vibe with you. People are not going to want to chill. They're not going to want to hang. They're not going to want to talk to you. They'll exclude you from events, religious or otherwise. And if they see you at a religious event, you better believe they're going to gossip. Because people, just because they're people of faith does not mean they don't gossip. Everybody gossips. I gossip. People don't think men gossip. I don't know why people don't think men gossip. I feel like men might gossip more than women because no one's talking about it. Because no one's, because no one's saying it's gossip. Like, people will classify a lot of things women do. I know this is off track. People classify a lot of things women do as gossip, but nothing that men do is gossip. But men gossip way more than women. But anyway, so that is my little spiel on why just because you're in a religious group with another person doesn't mean you're going to like them or they're going to like you or that you're going to have a great friendship based on that one thing. If you're going to try and form a friendship or learn about a person, learn about more than just faith, right? Learn about their overall perspectives in the world, how faith informs these things and whatnot. But anyway, that is all. I have a little bit of work to start getting done. I bought mangoes and I finally started devouring them. I bought them like last week though, so I got myself some slack. But yep, I got a couple things to do. I have to eat because I just recently woke up because I was tired. I had a long a long week and it was the only day I could sleep in so I did but yes I will see you all in the next video bye